Hello, my name is Canis, and I'm in Verkum in the Netherlands, and this is the Strand Race. Welcome to the Netherlands, home to Rembrandt, tulips, clogs and cheese. In 1973, the first Strand race took place, making 2023 the 50th anniversary race. Created by Reed de Jong, this race remembers the journeys made by Frisian sailors as they transported manure from the rich pastures in the north to the tulip farmers in the south, back in the days of sail. We will start our journey in Verkum, down to Vormund, and return, sailing, pulling, and pushing the boat. This is Emmanuel. This is Simon. I'm Simon. <laughs> hello. Yeah, hello. Uh, who are you? I'm Mike. I'm and the skipper. Who are you? Very good. Who are you? Oh, who am I? Matthias. Hank, just say, I'm Hank. I'm Hank, yeah. Who are you? Frank. Who are you? Justus. Who are you? I'm Martijn. Time for me to go. Excuse me. I'm Martijn, hello. We have to move the boat because um, we're in the wrong position for the lineup. So the boat is Emmanuel and we're about to put ourselves over there. So we have to swap with this guy um, and he's coming here and we have to go over there. Yeah. Good morning. It's race day. This is the Strand Race 2023, the 50th anniversary. This race started to remember the journeys that were made from Friesland to Southern Holland with manure for the tulips. Cows up here, tulips down there. So this is a recreation of the race. You are not allowed to use a diesel engine. You have to use sail or pulling the boat or punting the boat. You will see all of this going forward. Unless I drop all the footage into the sea, that is. This race is hard and it runs 24 hours a day for those days. The earliest that it's ever been done is believed to be 30 hours, which is insane. Come with me on the journey of a lifetime. Oh God, boss. This is a reproduction of a Dutch eel trading vessel made of wood and the inside has a lovely tank in which the eels are kept alive as they arrive for market. Um, this boat has been to London and went to Billingsgate Market with their eels to sell and Billingsgate Market wouldn't agree a price with them so they took them all the way back. Anyway, let's go in and have a look at the eel tank. Hey, hail to Zijder Zee. The garretjes liggen gepeld in de pan. What could happen on the Zijder Zee? Imagine it was somebody else's glasses. Yeah. Oh my God, you guys look amazing. <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, how would you rate my visit? Eight to nine. <laughs> For what reason? Be because nobody's perfect, otherwise you would have gotten a 10.
It is very busy here at the moment. Everybody's getting their boats ready. Over there are the fisher boats, traditional fisher boats. Then we have the clippers, which are the big ones. There's a number of boat races going on here. There's the Strunt race, which is the shit race. Um, in fact, that van over there has the shit. It's actually fertilizer. These group here are all Strunt racers, but these are the professionals. These are the guys who are going to win. Um, then there's the free class of the Strunt race, which we're in, which means uh, we don't have to abide by too many of the rules apart from not using our diesel engines and things like that. But um, there are no regulations. We don't win anything as a result. But um, we're going last of the Strunt race. In the fisherman's race, they have to go and fish and come back and then based on what they've caught whether the species of the fish and the quantity etc etc so it's based on how much money they earn in terms of the quality of the fish and the quantity and that's who determines who the winner is manuel is 1903 this is the first time the crew's done the race look at all of these boats all the way down because it's the 50th anniversary many boats have turned up and that's why there are so many here today it's quite clear that the Dutch know quality music and a quality nation like Ireland. I didn't know your traditional music was Irish. The boats have to go out in a specific order, so they're all uh, maneuvering. So we have an, a boat just there and Here's another one and they're moving and everyone's, we've got a screaming child. At 12, we go and get the manure. Simon, is that the start of the race? The fishers. The fishermen are starting. Oh, fantastic. Maar die gedachten nog altijd bij ons. Het kleine rode schoentje in de schepen. So as the in Lennart's about what five years about it now. Tense. 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 Very tense. Yeah. Hard, hard about. <laughs> there is our shit. <laughs> Who's going first? Yeah, heavy ships going first. Yeah, yeah. Heavy class first. Heavy goes first. The guy, that guy goes first. Everybody falls. Second class. Second class. Yeah, yeah, okay, so we've got a lot of catching up to do. There's the contract, 25 kg, 5 sign. Bye, 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 Is that it? Is that 5? Maar dat ging zo hard dat uh, een paar seconden daarna moest dus uh, de uitdagingen worden aangegaan van de, van de zaak. De uitdaging van het leven zat de uh, Die doet het ook uh, It's official. We're sailing. Yep. 
the boat behind us is actually uh, crewed by the event manager and he wants us to get out of the way <laughs> but I'm you're saying no <laughs> that would technically make us dead last we're getting very close uh, the next issue is, is those boats they're bigger faster <laughs> and we're we're but not more eager than are, are we technically dead last at the moment <laughs> not yet. no no not, not technically yet. technically <laughs> but in very, in very shortly very shortly <laughs> we will be stone cold last last will be first oh, oh, see, what's oh no oh no disaster disaster yeah. sail has fallen this in that's it this is it this is what we needed this is going to make or break the race and, oh no, they've sorted it again. They fixed it. The boats behind us are getting closer and the boats in front of us are getting further away. Their sail is taking all our wind and that's why it's all gone floppy here. It's that commitment. Yeah, I notice we're not doing that. That's the easel mirror out there. Okay, we're polling. We're making the turn into the Easelmere. Now we're catching up again. We're in the Easelmere now. The wind has picked up and we're going for it. Thank you. What you got there? Uh, we got the uh, hood spot. Uh, oh, it's, and it's a famous it's it's uh, it's a famous uh, uh, Dutch recipe from Janneke. Potato and carrot. Potato and carrot. Yeah. Yeah. Get us. Thank you. My garnish. My my garnish is blowing away. Um, oh. Lovely food. Okay, well, the weather is uh, deteriorating very mildly. Nice and windy, but there's it's like a break in the
That's the sunset. You can go through this lock twice, meaning you can go out through this lock and then come back this way. But there is another lock which is a shorter distance from Amsterdam to Varkum. You're only allowed to use that once. Um, so it's been interesting to see the strategies that people are using. Um, you can see where the boats have split and have gone in different directions. put the engine on for the very simple reason that uh, legally they have to. So now the sails come down. Now it's night time, the boat keeps going. We've arrived in Amsterdam and we're going to go the short way through, which means because we're on power, we have a start point and an end point and we have to do it in three hours. We'll do it shorter than three hours, so when we get to the end point, we have to wait until we get three hours on the clock, and then we can resume under sail, or pushing the boat, pulling the boat.
we can get to that bridge under power and then we have to cut the engine and then we're going to be poling it from this point. The booming starts. Now the booms come out. It's misty. Hey Simon, mind your head. Just just in case. Oh, it's a real. Is this the low bridge or is there another one? Oh, okay. Back to booming. We calling it booming? I was born under a wandering star. Back to booming. Oh yeah. Now we're pulling the boat. Sorry, what was that, Simon? I, no, sorry, I can't hear you. No. Bon voyage. We have made it through Sudan. We can now raise the mast and start sailing. We had an hour or two sort of just rest, and now we're off again, this time under sail. So we have to tack a few times and into the lake, like that boat over there. <laughs> Right, that's it. We're done. This isn't happening anymore. Oh my God, it's so much work. We're not gonna get anywhere anytime soon. We're now gonna cheat and use the diesel. Um, the wind is against us all the way. We can't sail, so we would have to punt the entire journey. There's the engine. We're ready to go. Everybody's happy. We're gonna have a lovely cruise and you're gonna come with us. Let's go to Vermont. Let's give them their shit. Let's get on with it. Come on, there's a very large lake behind all of this, but all of the houses have lovely uh, gardens with their driveway is for a boat. at the 
fishing boats. Well, we have to pick up pickles for the fish. Uh, tell me about Terra Nova. Terra Nova is what? Terra Nova is the flagship of the Elfe Beha Bay. That's the old uh, freight ship association in the Netherlands. And that's the flagship right yeah. there. Anyway, this is uh, Terra Nova. Can we get yeah. the pickles? Can we get the pickles? Coffee and tea if we want. Pick yeah, can we get something warm? Um, we may have got a little sidetracked uh, in the pickle collection depot. Do, do we have the pickles? Uh, pickles. Yeah, the pickles. Where what, are the pickles? What are pickles? The pickles. Are the pickles over there? Oh, the pickles. Oh, the skipper has the pickles. Oh, the, the, oh, no, no, oh, skipper. The pickles are there. We have the pickles. Oh, yeah, there's um, the skipper. And there seems to be also a lot of beer. As well, so you know. um, I don't think we're I don't think we're taking this any this seriously anymore. Are we're we? taking this very seriously. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. How how long do you think the guys who are wi currently winning the race spent getting the pickles? <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a nanosecond. Yeah. 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 See, this, is, this is the joy of the approach that we're taking. Exactly. We have the pickles. Okay, we and we have the contract. We have received the pickles. Oh, with a nice uh, and a nice poster Emmanuel of picture. Emmanuel. Oh, that's nice of them. Nice, that was huh? lovely. Yes. Wow. Right, get those pickles on the boat. <laughs> Check out that for an engine monster. Where are we going now? Warmond. Warmond, and we're going to deliver the shit. The shit. <laughs> We're gonna deliver the shit next. You said manure. Manure, sorry, manure. There's the crew. Yeah, Vacha, you use it. Yeah. Weary travelers. Yeah. What a pro. As you know, we're not gonna win anything. We're, we're last. Nobody cares. It's all a bit of fun. Prize for the most joyful boat. We, 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 we're just gonna be the we most. We're gonna win the beer. prize for being the funnest boat. That's yes. Hmm? You are the greatest. Ah, oh, thank you. You're very welcome. You're the real hero. We're in sight of Vermont. Straight on that way, around the corner, and then we grab our manure out of there and it is considered delivered. And there we have most of the crew of Emmanuel. These legends. It couldn't be done, except for the last 50 years, where it has been done. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Fresh from Friesland. And the last one, 525 kilograms of shit. Thank you, and there it is, the honorary horn to congratulate the cheaters who have discovered the power of diesel. And did you did you did you make it here without using diesel? No. Uh, oh, and this is your boat. This is your craft. No, you're in a kayak and you did it without diesel. And you did 125 kilos of shit in your kayak. Sorry. Ah. Okay. 
Ja, ja, door naar, uh, naar de andere kant. Ja. We staan toch? Ja, ja daar zijn we staan. Ja. Op een bevaar, op een behouden vaart weer terug naar Morgen. Ja, ja. 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 En nog 50 jaar erbij. En nog 50 jaar erbij, uiteraard. De uh, beaker dat uh, oh. we gave to you. Uh, and take it with you and show it to your family and see, showing them this is the proof that I participated in the 50 year jubilee yeah. Very edition nice. of the um, Strong Race. Thank you. <coughs> thank yeah. you. And you have to be here yeah. next year. Any year we all Of course. Because that is your training for the 55th. <laughs> yes. I and I expect at least three Irish boat boats. Three boat. <laughs> Which one of these boats here, up here, these you say you say boats yes. crash into the? Uh, we're not going to talk we're, about we're that. Going to talk no, about no, 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 we're not going to do that. There is all big. There is the next. Finish. Let's be Started our talk. 17. Yeah, so every boat that oh, comes in. 17 of them. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so this is again this way. He has done a shot for every boat that came in, yeah. and that was 17. And now he walks around like that. <laughs> And as a special treat, they put on a hot tub. And I've got my Friesland gear. Woohoo! Right in I go. How's the water? It's okay. It's not too hot. It's not that hot. Oh, it's lovely. Yes. Oh, perfect. Welcome to the Netherlands, everyone. Shit race! Six o'clock in the morning, the bridge is ready. This race is on. Off to Harlem. Off to Harlem. Am I overdoing it? Will the bridge open in time? Or will we lose our mast? We will, exactly. Yeah, nobody thinks about that. I was just going to say, don't say it's what it's still early. Stop tempting fate. We so were waiting for this train. Here's the train. And they now, can they can open the bridge. Yes, there we go. Good 
I see. Want je hebt. Maren. Yes, dat is us. What is what are you doing? I'm stabling. Stabling. And what this means is the boat is power sliding down the canal. Uh, we have how much wind? Yeah. Let me have a look at that. You have no wind. And the current is dragging us. <coughs> Skipper Mike is making the boat as wide as possible to catch the current. And as a result, we are sideways down the canal. That is the angle we are at. Some say the skipper is just drunk. But apparently this is great skill. They're wrong. Yeah. Skippers are never drunk. <laughs> just had a moment. History has been made today. Bridge called us. Thank you. That's insane. The bridge called us on Mike's personal telephone to say, if you hurry, we'll open the bridge for you. There's the bridge. It's starting to get brighter at the beginning of a new day. Red sky at night, sailor's delight, red sky at morning, sailor's warning. Did this bridge call you? This one did not, this one did not, but we called the bridge, but still this one gets a 9 out of 10 because he was super friendly, wishes us a happy race. Oh, well done. We're also allowed maybe to sail through the bridge, normally that's not okay, but... Uh... He said that we could uh, stay up with the sails, so we have a good race ahead. Oh, so we're allowed to go through the bridge with the sail up. Where are we? I would not know, but I have an estimate. I think we're approaching we're heading, Harlem. We're heading towards Harlem, isn't it? We're heading towards Harlem. Lovely. They're, uh, they're super sweethearts, and they support the race, and uh, I support the bridge uh, keepers at the ring park. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Netherlands. Where? Yet again, Emmanuel stops traffic. The water was here first, so... They love it. They're all like, oh, look at the beautiful boat going through the bridge. I'm glad it stopped us in the middle of our commute. Look at these guys. Sorry, the bridge master is opening the bridge because he has designated us cargo vessel. That is exactly what I'm saying. There's a little bit of a breeze. It's time to get going. Back to work, everyone. Love wins it all. Do you know what also wins? Diesel. <laughs> This is an original waterway heading into Harlem. 
and everything you look at on this side so we're much higher than the land down there and these are the polders so this is the western edge of one of the biggest polders in the Netherlands Schiphol Airport is over there which is all on reclaimed land We're coming into Harlem. Influences don't boom. <laughs> I've seen you booming. That was somebody else. I've got a really important job. I'm, I'm defender. The, I'm defend. I'm the defender. The defender. My God, is that where we get the term defender from? Is that it? Defender. That needs a bit of oil. This is the crookiest. The polder is over there. They need to pump the water out. Steam driven. Do you see the arms of the pumps sticking out? Q to image stolen off the internet. It's now a museum. <laughs> a working museum. Great booming. This is an interesting sign. Oh yes, tells you how to turn. So we have to turn on the left. No, we have to go on the opposite side. I don't know. No, we go first. The, or it is used as a turning spot. Oh, boat's turning. Maybe. You think that's and what it is? And the top one is a is that... ferry, because okay. that's here. And the ferry turns here, around. Ah, look, there's the... That's what it is. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. So let me just get this straight. You says you own a boat, mm -hmm. right? Mm. You live on a boat. Mm. You're born here, you live here all your life, mm. and even you don't understand what that's no. what it means. <laughs> True. That's that's we don't have that's that. we don't we don't know. I think I learned it once to I, get my certificate, but mm, then immediately mm, forgot mm, immediate. after I pass it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. now I well, to then. face the consequences. Yeah. I have no idea. There is no wind. We're now literally just not moving. There is wind. There is wind. Where, there's the wind. Look at the wind there, but not here. See? Wind there, but not here. Look at it. It's coming. It's coming. Which way is it blowing? It was blowing perfectly for us as well. Come on. Oh, there it is. Oh, the Lord God smiled upon us. And doth the wind did blow, and the boat it did go. Mike, what are you putting up? Uh, is it another sail? Why is it? It's a big balloon here. Oh, okay. Action in detection. Yes. Yeah. You should have given it just a small fall in or anything. <laughs> just, just I could manage that. Dip one toe. And there it goes, up behind. Where did the sock go? Sock up, up. Oh, look at it! It's gone all the way up there! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Supplies! Well done, check that out. Lekker! The next bridge is already in sight. Take it all down. Yeah, take it all yeah. down again. Ah, but with the slurf around it, with the it's easy. tube around it, it's really easy. You just yeah. suck it up. Yeah. 
I did a thing. <laughs> yeah, you did it. Very important person for holding out the bean. Okay. Hey, <laughs> that's our cap <laughs> captain. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant, Hank. Thank you. And it just disappeared into a sock. And now it comes down. Serious, yeah. Jesus. For the rest of the day, Yeah. The rain is starting again. Once we go through the bridge, we're in Harlem officially. Enjoy your ride. Booming. Oh yeah, he's not happy. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. Are we done with this? There's the bell. Now everybody's happy. One person in Harlem was not happy. Or were they? Were they blowing their horn in support? What do you think, Simon? I think it was supportive. Supportive uh, of our endeavor. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And look at all those people, yeah. very supportive in the rain. Come all this way to cheer us through. And Mike decides now to start the engine. <laughs> good, good work, Mike. Cut, cut. <laughs> look, at, look at that. I mean, Mike, could have, Mike could have run the engine through the bridge, but he didn't. And all of these people are now waiting. <laughs> They've got all their children driving them nuts in the back of the car. But did Mike turn the engine on? There they are, finally. Harlem gets moving again. I'm starting to notice a pattern here. When the rain starts, the motor starts. before I went in. <laughs> it was soft and squishy. We have stopped the trains, and now we're gonna stop the traffic. Applause! 
he's not happy. <laughs> You'll get there. This is really awkward. <laughs> the signal, this is happening. Are they going to get through? Pull. Full Pull speed. as hard Full as speed. you can. So as this boat continues to keep in spirit of the Strand race, uh, refusing to use the diesel engine, um, but uh, we have decided to enjoy ourselves. It's uh, becoming quite clear that we are enjoying ourselves. We're also not last anymore. You know, having used the diesel engine extensively on this trip. I mean, they did say it didn't matter. So, you know, a nice bridge. Wave to the camera. Hey, thank you. you. Thank you, bridge master. Thank you, bridge master. Oh, they fired up the engine too. Ah, cheating. Oh, cheating. 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 Okay, we're coming into the lock. Have a look at it. What do you want to do? Yeah, uh, just in case. Are we going to clear it? Oh, that's tight. This place is gorgeous in the sunshine. Oh yes. Can you are you imagining it? Yeah. In fact, if you want to live there, it is possible. How do you do that? There's a house for sale. Oh my god, there's a house for sale. I you don't, don't want a house. You don't you don't want a house because you live on a boat? Yeah. Are you crazy? What's more marvelous than living on a boat? Cuckoo! delicious eel I've had my own close run-in with eels already this is uh, the oldest uh, lock sluice in uh, Europe in Europe yeah. 1285 yeah. it's the year of construction oh god I can't stand there yeah okay that's that's dangerous yeah. beautifully simple These are the original locks um, and in fact acted as a sea barrier because it used to be sea the other side. Still brackish water but uh, if there's ever a massive flood you can see right in there two very big locked doors and they can be shut in an emergency situation or if there's a particularly high tide. Well done, are you all happy? Yes. Yeah, well, you know, while you were all drinking and eating soup, I was busy being an influencer. Mm, well, this is our Irish mascot. Yes. Hi. Hello. I'm Irish. And I'm, I'm Dutch. Excellent. Well done. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. No, I've noticed you Dutch like Irish music. Not many Irish people that did the stunt No, I'm the, I'm the first. <laughs> so we have to get under the bridge at the lock, it doesn't raise up, so the mast has to come down. Remember what I said, oldest lock in Europe, okay? I don't believe you, but... Doing great. Look at that, look at that, look, 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 look. Oldest lock in Europe. <laughs> 2028. Ciao. Thank you, everyone. Ciao. We're going to pull up at that marina because ironically we need diesel. <laughs> Who'd have thought? We've left the marina uh, with um, an extra tub of diesel just as backup. But we have to get under this bridge and then we have to get across um, Amsterdam. But the rules stipulate that from this bridge to the other checkpoint 
is five hours. So if we get across in one hour, we have to hold for four hours. The clock starts to tick from that bridge. We have to put up the mask now. So we have to find somewhere to board to do that. Is this the North Sea Channel? It's the North Sea Channel. North Sea Channel. Mm -hmm. Is this channel artificial? Mm -hmm. This one is. That, that's artificial. That's a dog canal. Yeah. You're just showing off now. <laughs> so from the bridge, all the way through Amsterdam, and out the other side, um, you motor, and that's why we have the five-hour rule, so, you know, some motors might not be as fast as others, and there's locks and issues like that that could delay somebody. So to make sure it's even, there's no sailing here at all. <laughs> Well, it's the beginning of the last day, and now we're going across the Islamir on a return leg. We decided to all sleep and have a nice big long night's sleep. The rest of the boats are still sailing and they're practically halfway across the Islamir. Because the winds were light, of course, they didn't make that much progress, so they're only halfway across the Islamir. But the good news is we're going to just enjoy this day of sailing. The crew's spirits are high. The Manuel has run out of water. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Who's your uh, favorite YouTuber? Uh, uh, oh, look at that merchandise. Sam Samson Go Boat oh, Building. <laughs> no, no. Come on, shout out for your favorite YouTuber. No bullshit, just sailing. He has his own merchandising, no. and you can get this hat from yeah. No Bullshit, Just Sailing. <laughs> there it is. <laughs>
fog is very much lifted. You can see to the horizon now. The sun, liquor. The wind has picked up and we are going like the clappers. Seriously, who puts a lock above a roadway? The Dutchman. Yoo-hoo! Ah, beautiful. We can do everything! So true, so true. Let's go! Go, 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 go! Go, go! started to adopt this coconut as a mascot. Its name is Brian. They have been sailing since two o'clock Monday and now a coconut has been added to the crew. The captain looks on with dismay.
to Verkum. Desperate for pickles. Thank you. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, Elkan. Do you want pickles? No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we arrived. There is the team. We have made it to work. Finally, we dock. There it is. There it is. the contract over there. It's yours. Well, we've arrived at the party. 